Welcome everybody. Welcome to the SQL Server MDX course. And, uh, my name is Ashim Mazumdar and I'll be your instructor for this course. Um, about uh, me, I have around 16 years experience in uh, data warehouse database uh, designing architect um, as well as some um, .NET programming, web-based programming, transaction processing system, some SharePoint development, administration, etc. Um, so I have all kind of flavor of trainings, I mean experience. Uh, about this course, what do you expect from this course? Um, before uh, expectation, I believe we need to talk about what is prerequisite. The prerequisite of this course is you should know database theory very well, concept and SQL language, uh, deep knowledge of Microsoft SQL Server 2005-2008. So first I said you should be expert in um, database and second I said you should be expert in SQL Server and then understand the concept of SQL Server Analysis Services so not only SQL Server you should know SQL Server Analysis Services also very well because I'm going to um, talk a lot about uh, Analysis Service in MDX and uh, um, I'm not going to explain a lot of things like how it is hierarchy, how the dimension is related to the measures and etc. etc. I'm going to jump into MDX directly. Okay. So this is a very very advanced course. Before that, we have a course on SQL Server Analysis Service. Um, if you want to learn SQL Server Analysis, you should buy that training, and that will help you a lot. It have around 20 chapters on SQL Server Analysis 20 sessions for SQL Server Analysis Services. So understand um, the concept of MDX function from basics to an advanced level. Demonstration of each topics. So we do a lot of demonstration. Um, we do, uh, we do um, concept but after that definitely we just don't leave in the concept level or definition level, we show it to the uh, as a demonstration. Now, most of the most of you folks are from SQL, as I said, prerequisite is SQL. So, you will be comparing SQL with MDX. So, um, and I'm also going to compare some of the SQL MDX for initial queries. Um. One thing I want to tell you about the MDX. MDX is uh, pretty, um, I'll say, different language. And initially, it looks like a very easy language, just another SQL, SQL kind of uh, language. But it is not. It have when you people try and they hit the wall, and then um, they realize it have a steep learning curve. So. If you if you feel difficulties of uh, getting expertise in uh, MDX, yes, that's true. That's true. Everybody uh, have the same, uh, you know, s at least some who somewhat they'll feel face the, um, you know, st uh, like pretty pretty um, complex as far as the things are concerned. So next thing we're going to talk about the detailed explanation of the. Co uh, complex topics like generate function this is very very important roll up children I'm just highlighting some of the functions uh, I spent good amount of time and I'm very proud of that I included in this training dot net assembly and solve order etc understand the concept from uh, from the uh, first from simple examples and then the gradually to the complex queries now point is that we are here to learn MDX a language, but uh, complex queries are good. But you need to understand first query: what is exactly the goal for the query, and then uh, write the query. So, 
initially I um, I use very simple examples so that you don't have to spend time on the understanding the query instead you spend time on um, the functionality of the MDX okay or how to do in the MDX okay so we covered all the functions with the simple examples very simple examples I had I have some some of the queries are pretty complex you'll see pretty complex I believe I'll say around six uh, no I'll say ten ten around ten queries are pretty complex okay uh, I, I just go in a little bit complex and order we have four or five steps to achieve the goal okay and break into small queries um, you have more than we have more than 200 uh, queries um, more than 200 demonstration and MDX queries and more than 21 hours of training okay so another thing I want to explain uh, tell you that I uh, I didn't uh, cut and paste any of the MDX from my existing uh, booklet or something I wrote from the beginning a, every query start from a text string and I start with how to build the query so that you can see and we all can work together to say okay this is my uh, columns rows this is the conditions okay next what is next step so nothing like I saw a lot of train, uh, trainers they does um, they just cut and paste the MDX and say okay this is how it works um, that's my effort is to say uh, I'm not here to um, just to say it works I'm here supposed to be expert in MDX so I'm trying to help you to build the MDX okay and I, I really feel that you'll enjoy the course and uh, you know so this course material have two part one is training DVDs and um, uh, training DVDs it's one DVD actually and a printed course booklet if you don't have this too you can send email with your information to training at egurus.com and you must have a password because um, uh, to watch these other videos if not you can send a screenshot to um, if you click on the videos you'll see if you don't have password you'll see a um, screen showing that asking for password you can take a screenshot of the um, uh, screenshot of the screen and then send to training at egurus.com and they will send you a password and then you can uh, access the video videos one more things I want to say these videos are because of the security because of the price of the course and everything um, we uh, give all the videos are password protected number one number two videos can be run in one computer only number three um, when you run these videos you cannot run anything any other software on these computers okay so these are the th three things I'm extremely sorry for inconvenience but uh, you know to for the security purpose we have to do those things okay now another thing is that um, after uh, completion of the course this 11th chapter chapter 11 is a homework okay chapter 11 is a homework and send your answer answers of homework to training at egurus.com this is your course ID MDX 2008 R2 and your password we want to see your password so that um, we know uh, you are uh, like genuine okay so if your answer is one of the best for a batch of 10 students so uh, as as the people buy the training this training courses we accumulate like 10 people together and give one iPad we we give away one iPad for the best answers uh, of this homework okay um, one condition your answer should be submitted within one month of purchase okay good so 
Now, the agenda for the course. First is introduction to MDX. I talked about um, environment setup. We're using the Contesu database. Um, it's around 2 hours 38 minutes. We talked about basic structure of MDX, first query, understand default measures, uh, give, a, give you a heads, uh, basically kickstart and um, I'm going to I'm talking about a lot of SQL versus MDX sorting in MDX counting MDX explore more MDX exercises etc okay so most of the chapters have exercises um, second is set function I spent a lot of time I need a lot of patience from you I spend on 3 or 48 minutes 45 uh, 44 minutes Starting from head, subset, top count, top percent, order, unordered, top sum, distinct, descendants, add calculated members, strip calculated members, measure group for measures, filter, all members, union, intersect, accept, cross join, non cross join. It's a lot of extract, exist, generate. So, tail, bottom count, bottom percent, bottom sum. We just say what it is, why it's different, how it is we go through each of the things so this is one of the very very important course without uh, very important part of this chapter without this chapter this course is not complete okay set function is the, the important then we have navigation function 3 hours 13 minutes current current member parent children um, ancestor ancestors ascendants first child last child lot of sibling is sibling last sibling, cousin, lead, lag, you know, you name it, all kind of functions here, here is generation, link member, what is generation, how it is related, we talked about uh, detail, lookup cube, so these three chapters are, um, it's very, very uh, detail, it's around 10 hours, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah, it's around 10 hours, this is the, um, most uh, uh, solid part of the course, um, you know, it have uh, all pure MDX. Okay, then we are going to do a little bit of different things. I mean, you know, okay. So we have next we have time uh, and string functions. Um, so one hour fifty minutes, opening period, closing period, periods the very important periods to date. WTD, MTD, QTD, YTD, parallel period, last period, member to string, all lots of things. Aggregate every uh, next is statistical functions. Normally, people uh, trainers doesn't uh, cover this uh, statistical functions. Um, you know, this okay. This is for the statistical department. Now we need to know at least how it works. Okay, two hours seventeen minutes. We use a lot of things, aggregate, average, policy, correlation, you know, other roll up children is important, visual total is important, max, median, rank, you just name it. Everything we explain, okay? Next is our control functions, have a inline if statement, a case, is leave, is empty, is generation, you know, all these things, topics, miscellaneous topics. I include three different types of topics here KPI. Uh, metadata functions, drill down functions, etc. Next, we talked about SSRS, uh, MDX and SSRS. Uh, we spent on one hour, two minutes, different environment, de uh, development environment for SSRS, demonstration of SSRS reports using MDX, demonstration of SSRS report using MDX uh, and passing parameters. Then we talked about XMLA. What is XMLA? Query job for as a database backup, process databases, process dimension. We have some more exercises we did. Um, you know, we do, we make a dynamic file for these backups. Then our last chapter is on MDX script. This is very very important chapters. Um, miscellaneous topics: two hours, um, six minutes. Calculate scope. Very very important scope. If it's not in line if if freeze we create how to use a stored procedure uh, for MDX understand the stall border work and uh, .NET assembly calling from N NBX etc okay so that's the thing 
we talked about homework so that is our homework um, references I give some references here it's in the training booklet I have um, SQL Server 2000 book, uh, book online I have uh, uh, Brian's and Ryan uh, MDX step by step good uh, very good book um, um, Scott's book um, for analysis services um, some Ralph Kimball uh, you know design tips and everything I use one more books practical MDX queries for SQL Server analysis services by Art Tanik this was a pretty nice book uh, you have the Kimball design tips and I use some webcast and M MSDN blogs now um, feedback on contact or uh, we have training at egurus.com if you want to feedback you can do feedback at egurus.com website is egurus.com feedback at egurus.com to it is egurus.com 2143362518 if you want to contact us and license priority definitely we spend a lot of time and effort and we don't want to um, people to copy us and uh, this video is a license for the only one computers um, if um, it will stop any other software in the computers to stop the piracy so uh, thank you very much uh, for understanding us uh, you know and uh, enjoy the course thank you very much